this is my entry for SEPS 4,000 subscriber challenge. Congratulations to SEP on that. And his challenge was clothing out of natural material. And as usual, I'm going to push the envelope because I'm using an unusual natural material. As you can see, leather. Leather moccasins is my entry. <laughs> and the following is how I made them. All right, we're just going to trace. Measuring around the foot. Yeah. Pattern or outline of a foot. And then to the top, I added about 18 uh, millimeters or three quarters of an inch. Down at the bottom, I added about 37 millimeters or one and a half inches. And when I measured around her foot, I got nine and a half inches and I added a half inch to that and then divide that by two. Divide that by two and that gives me uh, five inches across from here to here. And in uh, metric the numbers are 24 uh, Oh, what would that be? That'd be 240 centimeters plus 12, and then divide that by two, and that would be your distance across there. And then I more or less cut it. It's straight lines on either side, straight across the back, and of course, kind of follow the shape of the toe around and then folded the paper so that you can see the shape of the pattern there and just ignore the drawing on this side and so this is how I'll put it on the leather to cut it out the pattern that I made and move that and that reveals the right and the left but you can see I've already got stitched around to there and the bottom I've got the slit these are inside out right now and this uh, seam you can use any stitch I, I use the uh, saddle stitch just because I like it and it's a good idea to put a slit where you're, you're going to split it for the uh, for the tongue later on if you put that early that way you make sure you keep your right and left uh, separated and don't do two rights or two lefts And there you can see where I had to move the slit forward to get a good fit. And now look at how this. Well, I'll see where. Pinch it and now we sew it. Yeah. We're going to sew it. Look at, look at 
going to sew it down about halfway leaving an opening back here at the back just a little bit okay here you can see the difference between the just outside stitching and then starting to do the heel stitching you can see there's an opening that I left the bottom of the stitching only goes to there this part is unstitched this side seam stitch ends right here and both threads go through and I'll put a knot under there on this side where I've sewed the heel together both sides of the thread come out and I'll put the knot right there and just so you can see I had to back up the thread pull the stitches out so don't tie a knot here until you get to this stage because you'll probably have to shorten this seam a little bit to get the uh, heel to come out right now here we are turned right side out and you can see there's the the long seam on this side as it curls around and then I cut a split the back and this will fold up and get an, uh, an outside stitch across here to finish up the heel so the heel will be like that stitched up do from this point is take a piece that's about as wide as my hand a couple of inches and we're going to stitch it around the top of this around here and that looks like this you leave a little bit extra sticking forward so that you can cross pieces at the front, one inside the other, like that, when you tie it up. Now all this one's le I have left to do is put a tongue, which I'll attach, right across this space here. Here we have the final product, and I'll give you a look there. Yeah.